here with the Signal Creek team. Hi, Signal Creek team. Can you all introduce yourselves? Hi, I'm Max. Uh, this is Dominic, <laughs> who is not present physically, but is in this ball. Yeah. Um, hi, I'm Ashley. Hi, I'm S or Sarah. Hi, I'm Erna. And hello, I'm Kaz. Hi, welcome, 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 welcome. All right, so uh, to start us off, just tell us a little bit about Signal Creek. What is it about? Yes, you want to take that one? Sure, yeah. So Signal Creek is a 2D pixel art top-down RPG that is centered around Noor, <clears throat> excuse me, who is a 22-year-old college student who comes back to the town of Signal Creek, New Jersey, um, where she's from, to visit the abandoned mall that she was so used to, to visiting when she was growing up. Um, it's set to be demolished in a, a short period of time, so she's going back to kind of reminisce about the past. Um, she bumps into her professional mentor, Miss Suan, and her younger brother's best friend, Nick, and together they get trapped on the third floor of the mall, and she has to help them and herself reconcile with their past in order to escape. Excellent. So it's a narrative experience, right? Yes. So. Um, you all, um, during Capstone class, you know, you all told me that you were all narrative designers for the experience. So um, I'm really interested about the narrative design process, especially with everyone saying that they're a narrative designer. How did you balance that, especially with all the other responsibilities that you have? You know, how can everyone equally contribute to narrative and also do programming and game design and sound design and everything else? So yeah, talk about that a little bit. So that's a really cool question. Um, our our jumping off point for even coming up with the idea was thank you to Richard Lemmerchan for Playful Production Process. Very good book. Um, but basically, uh, what he talks about a lot is uh, how to come up with blue sky ideas, brainstorming, ideation. And so it is very much like we all are together in very early stages of brainstorming. Um, and we basically spitball ideas, and we're not precious about them at first. And then we go into the prototyping phase where we you know, just kind of have vague ideas of our characters. And we bring them all, we come up with these prototypes individually. We bring them all uh, when we meet. And we say, what do I like about this one? What do I like about this one? And then past that point, we get into um, coming up with like the finer details of our characters. And for that, we uh, each drew from our personal experiences. And we found uh, things that we have in common as develop designers and storytellers, and things where we are unique. Um, yeah. And if I could just like jump in a little, I think it's important to remember that narrative design is not just the story and characters as well. There's a lot of narrative design that goes into environment, into the sprites, and even things like um, the quests, you know, and choices. So I think, for example, balancing between art and writing, for example, there's a lot of narrat narrative design you can do for environment or like even the way the level is played out. Like, for example, I think the earlier version of the mall was uh, placed very differently because we um, realized a mall is actually circular and the feeling of being lost like that's telling a story to the way the player moves through a space so we got creative <laughs> to say the least and I think also like in terms of like splitting up the work with like you know the fact that we all want to do narrative design that we're all narrative designers it was actually not as hard as it would seem balancing all the responsibilities because clearly it's a very text heavy game so we all were able to like step in do some at least some of the writing um, and then bounce off each other and like you know have a couple people do the editing and like keep it consistent but also everyone kind of had the chance to be able to do that. Excellent. That's wonderful. Um, you talked a little bit about the characters, but I actually want to know a little bit more about them, um, especially Miss Wan, because um, clearly Miss Wan is older than the other characters. And as far as I know, everyone here on the team is not as old as Miss Wan. <laughs> so, so, you know, you, I mean, I'm, having, writing the, the younger characters might have been easier, but um, yeah, tell us a little bit about the characters. What, who was the influence behind Miss Wan, and how did you go about writing a character like that? Um, someone who's, I guess, out of the age range of everyone here. Um, I guess for me personally, when I was thinking about uh, what makes Miss Suwon her, um, her work ethic and the fact that she let it consume her life is um, 
something that I personally uh, saw in actually in my mom. Um, and uh, I've seen my mom grow a lot over time. And so when I was personally empathizing with her, that's what stuck out to me. Um, yeah. And in terms of her background, we also we have uh, friends who are Thai Chinese or um, come from a similar background. So you're able to kind of pull from them and ask them advice on like, hey, you know, is this thing like, you know, what would she what would she have done in this place or in her past? Like what like in these specific moments of time when she was a child and when she was growing up, what would she have like, you know, what would she have done? What would she have talked about? You know, what would she have what toys would she have played with that kind of thing? And that all kind of influenced um, the narrative along the way. Yeah, and we also thought it was important to emphasize how different age ranges can uh, interact with each other in meaningful ways, and they can all um, change each other and learn from each other, despite you know the huge age gaps between these characters. That's really, really, really cool. Um, so let's talk a little bit about the the visual style and the inspiration for the setting. Um, is Signal Creek a real place? Is the mall real? Have you been there? <laughs> uh, but also just the just the general yeah inspiration behind the visuals for this game. So Signal Creek itself is not a real town in New Jersey. The mall is not a real mall. But there are a large amount of malls in New Jersey. A couple of us are from New Jersey and have New been Jersey! to a lot of those malls. So we, we, we have a lot of experience having gone there. Um, we've also had a lot of international experience with like going to malls around the world and kind of yeah. seeing the different ways they're laid out and what's similar, what's different. What are what are experiences that, that, don't, that span internationally related to malls and kind of pulling from that and like putting, you know, getting those influences in there so even though we you know we didn't all travel to a mall unfortunately we didn't have the time or the wherewithal <laughs> but we were you know we still we pulled up from our own experience how did it feel to be going to like these malls in the middle of jersey yeah and we also wanted to we really thought about like stores that a lot of people like our age and like people who are you know maybe a little bit younger like also have heard of and like have experience with like mm -hmm. we we thought a lot about like how do we design an experience that you know obviously having like very weird elements but something that's also like very nostalgic because nostalgia is like a huge part of our game so actually i want to talk a little bit now about the play testing for this game because i think the Seeing it through the two semester capstone, I think it does a really good job of resonating with real life situations and connecting with people on a bunch of different levels. So I'm really um, interested in, in hearing about how people came away from this game after playtesting. How were they feeling emotionally? Was it different? Was it all over the place? Yeah. Yeah. So. Um, I teach middle schoolers, and they were very helpful with the playtesting process. So, like every week, I would show them like a version of the game just to see like how kids, like people younger than us, feel towards it because they are like super into like RPGs, and they see it from a different lens than like us developers do, and even people who are in the game design sphere would. And we got a lot of good feedback about like things that they want. Like something that was really funny was right after the intro, they were like, "When is the violence going to come in?" And we're like, "Okay, okay, we see, we see what they're interested in." That's cool. Cool, or, or I have a crush on Nor. Or you know? I, which was like, very, that very was good. really, really <laughs> satisfying. with that one. So then you put a bunch of guns in the game, right? Yeah, yeah. 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 quest. <laughs> if time allowing. But yeah, no, it was very helpful to see like what they wanted to see. And you know, just to say, like some of their suggestions got in the game. Yeah. Yeah. And we we're very grateful for it. Nice. Great. Um, so I think we are out of time. So uh, real quick, can you tell us where we can find the game? and? And the team, I guess. Snacktimegames.itch.io/signalcreek. Awesome. Thank you. Thank Thanks you. A lot. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you.